Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Sparks Toyota in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out a 2015 Scion XB. And this is a really good choice for somebody that's looking for a small SUV with plenty, plenty of room. That's a real solid, sol solid car as far as reliability, as far as usability and resale value, value uh, has decent gas mileage. It's a really good option for a small SUV that has tons of room. It's not a big, you know, big boat or anything like that, but man, has it got tons of room on the inside and it's just fun to drive and it looks cool too. That's my opinion anyway. So let's take a look at it here. This one is in armor. The color is called armor and here in the front, you'll notice it has these daytime running lights down here and LED strips. It does have the projector headlights, halogen, as well as the reflector high beams. Very sleek and aerodynamic design. Smooth. And this is uh, the side. This, this has a Toyota engine, 2.4 liter four-cylinder with the four-speed automatic transmission all made in Japan this whole car is finally assembly assembled in Japan and shipped over here so that's a you know that's a plus for a lot of people including me that uh, you know Japanese you know a lot of Japanese manufacturers a lot of them sometimes you know have them made in different places but I you know sometimes I just like to have a vehicle a Japanese vehicle made in Japan and here's one here All right, so this one has the 16-inch steel wheels with hubcaps. So this is a, you know, this is not a real high-end package vehicle as far as the fanciness of it. But you, of course, you know, there's some perks though too. You have four four-wheel discs that are ventilated on all four wheels, and the uh, it is a dual overhead cam engine. So you got plenty of pep for a four-cylinder for sure. All right, so let's start taking a look at the inside. And you could notice just looking at the doors that you're gonna see that there's plenty of room to get in and out of the vehicle. So opening up the door, plenty of room. The headroom is crazy awesome. The leg room, just all around roominess. Plus the height of the seat compared to the floor. Uh, it feels like you're off the floor, you're not sitting on the ground, you're comfortable. I like that kind of stuff. So looking here at the door, you can say it's a fairly, it's it's a big door, so it's easy to get in and out of the vehicle, but it does have a kind of a simplistic design. You've got the power locks, power window, and you got a cup holder there, and everything's kind of simple and minimalistic, I guess, to just kind of get out of your way, and it's made for usability and you know longevity. And also it's easy to clean, that kind of stuff. So let's take a look at the seats. We do have like a cloth pattern there in the center and then accents it with the black cloth around. It is a manually adjusted seat. And they are very comfortable seats, especially considering the height off the floor. So you've got this little storage place right here so somebody can get in the passenger side, throw their cell phone, their keys or whatever in there, and you know, their hands are free. I like that. Here's the glove compartment. It's a pretty good size. It's all plastic, so it's easy to clean out, and because everybody's glove compartment gets cluttered for sure, so you have to clean it out every once in a while. But just the headroom, everything, I'm very impressed with the, the roominess and the comfort of this vehicle. All right, I don't know if you can see the window sticker with the glare. Let's take a look at the back. Now you'll notice the back has almost as much room as the front. And the same thing with the door, fairly simple. But the back seats, I mean, seriously, you've got plenty of room. The seats are up off the floor, just like the front. And the headroom, I mean, you can really be comfortable in the back seat of this vehicle. Leg room, everything. And the seats fold down in case you need some extra cargo area. So it already has a pretty decent amount of cargo area, which I'll get to in a second, but you do have the ability to, you know, almost pretty much double your cargo capacity just by putting the seats down. It is a 60-40 split, so you can 
have a combination of passenger and cargo space, whatever fits your needs at the time. All right, let's take a look at the back. It does have a chrome exhaust tip. Let that four cylinder breathe a little bit. So, let's go ahead and open up the back. Using this little button right here, it's a little rubber button under there. There's your backup camera, which I'll show you. There's the lens, which I'll show you the camera view in the car in a few minutes. So looking back here, you can see even with the seats up, you do have a pretty good amount of space for you know cargo capacity. You've got some tie down tie downs there. You've got a light there, a little pocket there to the left and right. Plus it's dished out there on the sides in here just in case you need that extra room that you know put a box or something in here that's kind of odd shaped you know why not you ha utilize that space there just in case you need it I like the way they did that so under here you do have to unlock them so you turn that and you turn this and this thing lifts up and you can remove it if you want this cover but under here you have the capacity to put you know stuff under here <clears throat> there's your tools for your spare tire and some other stuff there but you can just put stuff in here out of the way out of sight and I really like that feature in here is your spare tire it is a donut spare tire but at least it has one because some vehicles some new vehicles don't even come with one so you gotta definitely want to check into that actually look at the spare tire make sure it has it and uh, I mean, you know, it's fine if you don't, just the main thing is that you know whether you have one or not, because you don't want to find out all of a sudden uh, that you don't have a spare tire on a Saturday night while you're traveling out of town. All right, so that's the back. Fuel doors on the driver's side, which is always nice. So let's go ahead and open that up so I can see that. There's a little, thing to open it handle so here's the fuel door and uh, just basically standard open up the, the the cap there you can hang it here on the side to get out of the way so it doesn't hang down and, and scratch your paint and it is lockable so you know keep people from messing with your vehicle all right let's take a look under the hood hopefully we can see the engine and not a bunch of plastic but let's see All right, it's a little bit there to the right. Lift it up. Hey, we can actually see an engine. Wow. <laughs> and those of you who haven't seen my videos before, you can see a lot of engines are covered up with plastic. Now this one is, has a little bit of a plastic cover there, but the rest of the engine is wide open so you can actually see it. I like to see the engine when I pop the hood, at least some metal. So we've got some, got an engine there to look at. Battery is under the hood, but it is insulated as well. Everything's very well designed. There's not a lot of excess crap and wires and everything. Everything's tucked away, secure, solid. Engine runs pretty smooth. It does have a VBT system, an intelligent VBT system to help you sip gas. And then, but still give you the power when you need it, when you need it. All right, let's take a look at the inside. All right, so now you're in the driver's seat, looking in, the, looking at the steering wheel and everything. So let's check it out here on the driver's door. We've got the power windows, power door locks, all the good stuff that you would expect there. You also have a bottle holder down there, just like the other side. And then here, we have the ability to adjust both side mirrors. You just gotta choose left or right. You can uh, adjust the brightness of the interior lighting, uh, the dash lights there. And then down here, we've got a trash control button that will allow you to turn off the trash control. Now, you wouldn't wanna normally do that unless you need to spin tires for some reason, like saying you're in, uh, got stuck or you're going on a real muddy road or a real slippery situation where you need to spin tires to keep your momentum uh, Stuff like that is when you want to use turn that off just default driving the vehicle. You don't even have to mess with that button So here's the steering wheel <clears throat> and it is a 
kind of like a uh, synthetic plastic uh, rubbery it's comfortable but it's very simplistic design not a lot of buttons not a lot of stuff to get in the way uh, easy to clean nice and grippy and it is comfortable it gives a little bit in the hand to keep you from getting fatigued dished out a little bit right here that serves as a place to put your thumb and also as a little bit of a bolster so you can you know give you support for the steering wheel as the scion is a uh, badge right there in the center your cruise control is down here and you know it's pretty pretty basic it's out of the way uh, but so basically you just have to make sure it's turned on and then once it's on you'll have a little indicator up here letting you know that it's on that green thing and once it's on you can set it with this going up and down um, you can set it like that you can resume set your speed and then you can cancel it like that and so basically turning it on and off um, once you have it on you can do all that stuff but make sure you turn it on it will not work without it turned on all right so over here there's your headlights here headlight controls real basic turn signals but here on the left side of the steering wheel on the steering wheel you have your volume for your radio so you can adjust your volume up and down and then you have to change through your presets on whatever mode you're in so mode is that center button and say so I'm going to push yet so just so you can see it's going to cycle through FM, Bluetooth audio, AM, and FM. Uh, so that's that's what mode does. It puts you in different uh, audio modes. And then once you get into the you know desired place, then you can you know change through the, through your presets or your tracks uh, on your uh, whether it be your Bluetooth audio or your CD that kind of stuff. So that keeps your hands on the wheel, eyes on the road, not playing around with the radio. So it's a safety feature in my book. Dash is textured. It's like a flat or a satin textured surface. It's very interesting looking. And it does have this cool pocket here, which I guess is pretty cool for putting a big cell phone or, you know, really handy place to put some stuff there as soon as you get in the vehicle. And then the gauges are here to the in the middle. So they're the steering wheel is not getting in, in the way like I said if the gauges were here sometimes the, the steering wheel gets in the way so right here you have a really good view of the gauges and it does have a really big uh, speedometer a digital speedometer so let's take a look at it here and it is very simple you have the speedometer there there's your gear your miles per gallon there which is uh, you know not hasn't been activated yet or hasn't been started yet and your trip you do have the ability to set a trip there rpms your big gas gauge and then you have a clock there and you have the outside temperature you can see it's 94 degrees out real hot day so um gives you your key information there without being too cluttered and busy simple and just like these vents are very simple easy to twist around aim in different directions and also close so it's a lot of a lot of good simple things about this vehicle that's easy to use and out of the way and just you know makes your life easier and smoother i think all right so let's take a look at the radio here it does have a voice recognition system to where you can say certain commands and like call a certain person once you set up your bluetooth phone uh, you can also say tune to a certain station different things like that. So that's a good safety feature volume scroll through the, the tracks or the um, the radio stations There's your CD player there at the top. You can eject it there And this is your audio screen basically you got right, right now We're in FM and you can you know change the source to different uh, Different sources there you have AM FM you have the um, the ability to play through auxiliary port, a USB port, Bluetooth audio. So you, that's how you can change that. All right, let's go back to the audio there. And then you have this whole, it does have HD radio, by the way, so you got clear channels. Your setup, this is where you can go into general setup, which is like your language and stuff like that. Uh, guidance, this is for your voice recognition. You can set the volume, stuff like and Bluetooth, you can register devices, in other words, pair your you know different phones or audio devices. And your phone, uh, you can add phones and stuff like that. Audio, you can change the settings on your HD radio, and then your systems, uh, vehicle settings, 
this is I'm not really sure what the the purpose of that is maybe you can tell me it shows you different vehicles there but anyways and then you can go into your phone so like right now I have my cell phone paired and it's showing my battery life my signal strength my Bluetooth strength and um, I can call I can hit contacts I can go to my contacts find people I can answer the phone that kind of stuff and this one doesn't have the navigation installed um, but I think you can have it installed I'm not sure you might want to con contact your dealer and see if that's something you can install but it is does have the map button there it's just not uh, available in the system right now so looking down here this is the climate control buttons and you have the ability to change your temperature and your fan speed and where you want the air to blow there's your four-way flashers there so right here is uh, your shifter so I'm gonna go ahead it does have a like a really comfortable rubber feel to the shifter it's kind of pretty comfortable it feels like it gives a good grip and um, of course it's not fancy looking it just you know has that flat or satin black just like the the dashboard there matches that textured so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse like so and you can see the backup camera pops up here so you can see what's directly behind you um, so if you hit something you're just kind of you know your fault <laughs> so down here I can continue on there's neutral there's drive now if I really want to get sporty and I want to change gears myself just like a manual transmission I put it over here to sport mode and while I'm in sport mode this pops up here and I can change through the gears just like that which is pretty cool and you know it is a four-speed transmission but um, and I'm not sure if I haven't tried it but I'm not sure if it'll allow you to actually take off in fourth gear some vehicles will not allow you to go too far out of a uh, a gear ratio but hey I don't know but anyways you can you know cycle through the gears just like a manual transmission just by bumping the shifter just like that all right so down here you notice you have some empty space under here plus a power supply but I like the the leg room and I like the way things are as open as possible and then you have you know a low console there in the middle with your cup holders and then you have this place here to um, I guess to put like a small phone or something there but uh, my phone doesn't fit there my phone kind of fits in here I guess and I like the way they have it open so it fits in there but there's a there's a spot there for putting stuff there's the parking brake there in the center and then you've got this armrest that you know of course you can use it to blast your arm on but it's the center console that will open up and you've got some storage space in there but what's interesting is you don't want to clutter it too much up because just in case you need to access your auxiliary and USB ports uh, they're under this cover so now you can put stuff under the cover and it'll be out of the way and the cover does have this little place for wires to go in and out of so I guess you can put the you know plug it in and then um, plug it in and then you know run the wires out through that place and then you, you know it's kind of out of the way but once you get the cover in there and then if you start putting stuff on top you know you, you know, don't want to clutter it up too much is what I'm trying to say all right it does have the rear view mirror with the regular flip on the bottom for day and night mode visors you do have a little mirror in there and they're pretty good size as far as the length um, when you move them over this way they don't extend out so you know you do have some area there where the Sun can come in so you might want to have like a little stick on shade or something and same thing on that side you do have some tap lights up here so you can have a quick reading light there's your microphone for your Bluetooth system and you have there's a dome light so let's take a look at your visibility back here All right, there you have it, 2015 Scion XB. Comfortable, roomy, not a lot of gadgets, not a lot of things to confuse you. You get in it, you drive it, you get good gas mileage, you're comfortable, really good air conditioning, 
and a really good great, great price too these are really competitive in uh i guess a lot of vehicles but anyways thanks for watching and thank you to sparks toyota for allowing me to show off this vehicle to the world and of course if you have any questions leave it in the comments sparks toyota will definitely hook you up if you are interested in any scion or toyota and it doesn't matter if you're not in the area just go ahead and email them i'll leave their contact information in the description and they will figure out a way to help you i'm sure they will all right thanks for watching and i'll see you next time